A very interesting person. If you have a story, <laughs> she will always trump it. You can have a story. She trumps. <laughs> 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 she will trump your story. No, she, she's amazing. She's an amazing actress and she's a great storyteller. She gave you some dietary advice, apparently. Uh, yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, Miriam advocates for eating a raw onion. Like an apple? Every morning, yeah. Every... And, she, and she would always say, you must eat a raw onion. And I was like, mm, I think I'll pass. But yeah, sometimes I'd hear her from my trailer saying, could I please have my raw onion? Is that, is that a COVID sort of social distancing thing? <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure people stay two metres away. Really? Yeah, I yeah. mean, good idea, yeah. but I don't think so. I think this is just, this is just yeah. her. Luckily, she doesn't have that from Broadway to the Jonas Brothers. Was there any school in there? I mean, I did jobs and then I always went back to school, so it's probably different to you. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of funny stories. I don't know if I can tell. <laughs> I went to an all girls <laughs> school and uh, yeah, mm. some of my friends would play a lot of pranks on teachers. I mean, like get sanitary towels, stick them all over the wall and then put Ribena on them. And <laughs> <laughs> and then... Always funny. <laughs> Always funny. And then yeah, teacher would walk in and just, um, yeah, I suppose we found it hilarious, but <laughs> yeah. very, very immature. It's quite, quite <laughs> harrowing for the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. As yeah. a kid, it's a bit of a laugh, but imagine that's your place of work. Yeah, no. It... Walking in like that, it's like something from Saw. <laughs> I know. It was. If she's watching this, it will bring back horrible memories. Oh. <laughs> Lovely to see you. All right, it's gone. She's gone. Uh, right, we turn to Leone Elliott, and Leone brings us the triumphant return of Call the Midwife. As you say, this is the tenth series coming to BBC One soon. I'm guessing on Sunday nights, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, where in history have we got up to? Because it's one of those shows that you know it, it started with, but each season goes up. Yes. Yeah, so we move forward uh, a, se a year each season. So we go into 1966, the year England wins the World Cup. Is that in it? Is that in it? Spoiler alert. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, only, <laughs> I'm only at the quarterfinals of that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> England does win the World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, <wow. laughs> yeah. yeah. um, so, uh, presumably, and that's in it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And am I right in thinking you are the first West Indian midwife in it? Yeah. And is that because that mirrors what was happening then? That's when nurses were coming from West India and going into the NHS. Yeah, that, that happened probably like the late 50s, early 60s, you know, that Windrush generation of people that would come over and help out the NHS and they'd become nurses and work for Transport for London and... Yeah, well listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you as Lucille uh, talking to your friend Cyril, played by Saffron Tate. What's that you have there? Mrs Wallace made me some chicken rice and beans. And then... He must have just started his shift because those of you those <laughs> overall God. very clean. <laughs> so, beautiful, they're yeah. ironed. <laughs> Pristine. Looks he too heavy to deliver a baby in, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Get all that off. <laughs> and auditioning for the show though, so you had, you did one kind of normal audition and then second audition in at the deep end. Yeah, so second audition, they gave me some additional, you know, scenes to learn and they said, you know, they'd like me to do a birth scene and they'd like me to improvise, particularly with the birth scene. I was like, OK. So I went in and there was the director there, the casting director, and, you know, I had to improvise a birth scene with quite stern faces. And, you know, I think I just became more of a cheerleader than a midwife because at this point I'm still auditioning and I'm like, that's it, come on, you can do it, that's it, that's it. And I quickly just sort of went over to the clamping and cutting of the cord and, oh, you've got a beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> you've got a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> you got the part. Yeah. <laughs> Some births are easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, they can't all be big dramatic ones. Exactly, exactly. But that's the audition. Then you get to set and they're not pretend babies anymore. They're real babies, which yeah. must be so hard. It is. I mean, they only work like 15 minutes at a time and then they oh, get a break. Well, imagine being a baby. <laughs> oh, that's about 15 minutes. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Yeah. The union says 15 minutes and then I get a break. Yeah, they're very, very strict. Uh, but yeah, they often pee on you, vomit on you. I mean, it just... I mean, to do that within 15 minutes is almost impressive. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you, is it a lot of twin babies that work as one child? 
We do have twins a yeah. lot, but yeah, sometimes it's just it's just one baby, but it's from a local hospital usually. Yeah. That's why twins are good on the show. But you say they're borrowed from a hospital. I mean, their parents know. Yeah, the parents know. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a lending library. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As soon as the the, the baby yeah. pees on you, the parent is yeah right. Yeah, she's there, sleeping. Just take it for half hour. <laughs> <laughs> but presumably then, but you you have to be nice to the baby. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you'd be nice to the babies anyway. Yeah. But are the parents on set? They are. Oh. OK. Watching like a hawk. Yeah. Oh, God. Have you what? ever said the wrong thing about a child in the earshot of a parent? No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> you just thought it. <laughs> this one, you must have bets. Oh, did you just say that one? The quarter past two one. <laughs> the quarter past two one, they're like, E.T. Yeah. Horrible little thing. Half two, half two's got lovely eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but as Leonie says, you know, on the Call the Midwife set, you, you, you'd never call one of the children ugly. You'd never call no, them. No, you that. think no. it, don't you? No, you'd never call that.